Canadians are aware of the very tragic loss of life as it relates to young people who have died by suicide in recent months. This is set in a context of uh, a whole range of other very uh, unfortunate and unacceptable gaps in health outcomes uh, that Indigenous peoples in Canada face. Today, in that context, we have agreed to work uh, both at the acute needs in these communities and have agreed upon a, a uh, some specific work that needs to be done. One of the communities most seriously affected is Pekanjikum, and today we have agreed upon the Pekanjikum Action Plan that will guide our work and form a framework going forward that our officials will continue to work on to deliver. And we have also talked about our long-term plan, and that long-term plan is that uh, the three orders of government will be working together in a very ambitious plan to do the work that it's been recommended for a very long time, and that is to work towards the transformation of health systems as it relates to First Nations, with a goal that NAN, Anishinaabeaski Nation, will as soon as possible be in a position where the health systems of NAN will be designed by and delivered by and controlled by First Nations. I think it's an acknowledgement by all parties that the the colonial health system uh, that was set up and currently exists as it pertains to First Nations across this country is not serving First Nations communities well. Uh, the uh, inequities that exist, the lack of access, the uh, poor outcomes that we're seeing uh, we need to, in a collaborative fashion and taking uh, our lead from First Nations leadership and communities and frontline health care workers themselves, fashion a health system which, is, uh, which will achieve those uh, important uh, outcomes of uh, access and equity in the highest quality of care. Today is a very significant day for the United Basque Nation. Uh, it's something that uh, we've been working for for some time now. And uh, I just want to echo the words, uh, the message uh, from many of our communities that they are ready. They are ready to uh, take on uh, health care for themselves, for their communities. And the, uh, the document that we signed this afternoon allows or it, it outlines the, uh, the principles that will help all of us, uh, guide us to where we want to go.